and, and being able to uh, take care of business in match one and then come through and everything changes in game one of match two. Way too French is the incumbent, really doesn't... Basically, what I'm trying to set the table for is I have no idea, despite all of the information, how this is going to go. A trade off the top right away and use is going to find the secondary. So it's a four on three is way too French defend the B site. Yeah, Spirit backing away as uh looks like all four players are all ready to make this push onto B. This time around, they've got a secondary member. They do have one. It's going to be the Brim Anger here. It's going to try and double peek with them over here at long. I like the call. Oh, oh, I thought two of them were picked up. Instead, it's just the one, but Anger finds the second. And Nano trying to make the micro plays. Falls down, and it's a big look for Charlotte Phoenix. Yeah, very nice, very nice hold there. They're going to be able to take that pistol round. Now this defense, we'll see. Heavy armors coming out for all of them. As, yeah, I think they just want to make sure they secure every single round here. Uh, so Charlotte Phoenix now. No real investments, no shares, nothing except for, okay, the shorty coming out for use. Not entirely too sure why you would do that on the offense. Yeah, that's it's interesting. Use was the one that got a couple of kills with a pistol. So, an odd look, either way. So if anything, he's the one that should be pushing up through like U-Hauls to try and clear that out. Yeah. Nano. Toss one off the wall. In cred here. Ooh, big damage. 70% of his life bar just gone. Nice move. Spike planted. There it is. And big plays coming out from Charlotte Phoenix here. Four on two. Still scratching my head about that shotgun purchase. No, he, he played it. Like I said, he was he was he was the one that needed to clear out U hauls, and he did end up pushing through and uh, getting there. He got one frag, um, the yeah. only frag for way too French with that. Um, and okay. then I believe Spirit finished him off with a shock dart uh, that he just bounced around the corner without having to go in there and check anymore. So, you know, for 200 credits, whatever, it, it got sure. you some value. You you only invested, I believe, um, the 200 for the uh, for the shorty to get in there and you do economic balance on the uh, um, damage on the other side. Definitely value, especially with Ready. the fact that they were able to get the plant as well. So minimal investment with some really good returns. Odd play, but one that works. <clears throat> Long sights for spirit. A lot of players waiting here. Spirit still here. Finds the shot versus use. Has to fall all the way back, but does have teammates in octagon. Melio is able to take down one, but spirit falls back and finds the answer to it. Still four here. Defending B site. Rotation coming from Phoenix. They still have one over at A. Interesting choice here. And that's because of the teleport. Players can switch sites very easily, but now filtering onto the site itself. Spirit picks up the third for the round. All kills here belong to the Sova player for Charlotte Phoenix. Right here. This is going to be a difficult retake with that operator. He does have his ultimate out, narrowly missing one. Here we go. Cherms is able to equalize things. He knows where that last player is. They don't even have the spike down yet. He doesn't have to go for the peak. Oh, this is both. Good charge. I love this play by Melio. And it works out. Three kills for Spirit, but four for Melio, one of which is Spirit himself. And a beautiful grab there. Yeah, Beautiful picking grip. up that operator. Understanding uh, exactly what the matchup was. You know, operator versus um, versus, well, something that's not a bolt action. <laughs> so he just pushes up into his face and just sprays him and just, you know, gets that rate of fire win up against him. So Charlotte Phoenix dropping that first uh, defensive round here. And now it's the uh, eco round for them. Way too French. We'll see what they can do with this. Play this default or uh, be a little bit worrisome of anything cheeky coming on. Two 
two players still at A, so the mid push is going to be second thought of actually, and A will be where French opt to go. Incred already up into U Haul, and there's the wall of smokes. I'm not going to test it, but the ice wall comes down. Worried about players planting is raised, but Cherum's not going to find much of anything with all that ordnance. Incred gets the shots and a second one as well. So the site largely open here. The rotators from Charlotte Phoenix, the only ones left. Spike still not planted and a full actually, rotation from French to B. I, I like the way that way too French played that. They understood what they were up against. And so trying to go for that plant, um, you know, even though they did a very default play there onto the A site was right. still risky, right? You have the orbital strike actually come down on you while you're in the mid plant, along with having all of the abilities of uh, of the rays right there to bring down bear on you as well. And so even though that's a very default play, it's, it's still a risky one uh, in the face of what Charlotte Phoenix had. So way too French played that uh, perfectly. I, I love the pace that they took that at. They didn't try to rush anything. They understood it was, you know, an anti-eco round for themselves. And they, they crossed all their base or, you know, they checked all their bases there. So really good play coming out from them. And that's going to be two rounds in a row for them. Spirit, though, once again, with that operator playing on the B site while he has two players push Octagon for him. A site, on the other hand, <clears throat> kind of sleepy. Way too French playing this one slow again, but drops down the two smokes and A site likely going to be their target slowly this time around, however. And there's the push on in. Uh-oh, Nano's going to pick up one. Sherm's in trouble. And there's the second from Incred. Way too French have the numbers advantage. Charlotte Phoenix making the rotation. One all the way from spawn, the other from the other side. Nano's trying to deal with the other. And the spike's down, 40 seconds to go. That was a hell of a mind game coming out from way too French there, where they're expecting someone, uh, especially the Rays player, to be on the other side of what should be a wall. They never put up the wall, and that's what he was expecting. So he just stood out in the <laughs> open when the smoke clears. They see him lining up a uh, lining up a, a, a nade, and they just get him for free. Uh, way too French are going to be able to secure this round. Charlotte Phoenix just have to opt for the save. Yeah, nice job there. Five in the pocket, and way too French have three of them. A good job so far from the incumbent. They have been looking cute on the second one, and this is a very different style from what we saw last time around. Ten to two was the split before the half in map number one. We wound up finishing it 13 to 12. This time around, and I leave the names out because largely irrelevant. Just saying how swingy it was. Now, three to two after five. So a, a much a much different style game than we got last time around. Now, Charlotte Phoenix. Uh, I don't really see them making any other adjustments. I don't think they need to. Currently, we're only into the sixth round here. As uh, Melio with a nice camera to peek over at long. Shot's not even taking the chance to go for that peek yet. But as the slow orb goes down, he's got two in his face. And he's the first one to fall. Uh-oh. Nobody in the usual spots here. Way too French. Still strong. A nice shot from... Molly. Those shock darts. Man. That's the key. You, shock dart is really a, an ability that I think like bronze players get no use out of and high level players get incredible amounts of usage and everybody in between is in between. Like it's 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 difficult to learn those angles, but when you do and you know you're like ho ye spots, you are kind of doing it. A couple of kills brought to us by shock darts already. Ooh, spirit. When's that first duel? Spirit's been a normal strike. Been impressive all night, I'd say. Oh, nice snap look. And Charlotte Phoenix right back into it. Three to three. I 
thought that might have just been another round where you go for that save. They were already down so many members there, and their HP didn't look great. It did not look great going into that. But, you know, Spirit starts it off with a huge pick. That Operator has been massive for him. And, yeah, he has been uh, just a very solid anchor player for his squad. Um, on that Silva all night long, been picking up that Operator 90% of the rounds uh, whenever he's got the money. And uh, he's been showing up with it. Tying it up 3-3 three to three here as we go into the seventh round. Way too French. You know, their B pushes been a little bit stifled and I want to see if they maybe go for another A1 but this time it looks like no they will be going for a B push trouble no eyes I really thought everybody's gonna come right on through but instead it's gonna be a long push and spirit continues to show up finds one misses the second knows where they are though Ray's gonna peek on out and it's the defenders that are doing it Oh my gosh. Way too French, though, on the other hand. Uh, from Hookah, the attackers are doing it on that side. So long dominated by the defenders, Hookah do dominated by the attackers, and the spike has been planted here by Way Too French. 2v4 retake. They do have Showstopper, but again, this post plant is just set up where they're spread out. You maybe pick up one. Maybe. Nice trade. Charlotte Phoenix is able to get one from Back Labs. Do they move or do they stay there is the question? Because, well, stay there is the answer. Cherms looks good. The attackers take it. Way too French. After all that, back and forth we go. Yeah, they played that well. They had the post plant. They set up the crossfire. They were spread out, so they never had to worry about, you know, two of them going down to something like a showstopper or even the paint shells there. And so Charlotte Phoenix uh, playing that one properly. Bank broken. Uh, excuse me. Uh, way too French playing that one properly. But now it's Charlotte Phoenix uh, who are on the eco. We've got Frenzy out for spirit. Cherms picking up uh, that, that share for the team. It's going to be a full three-man peak, but we've seen this last time. It's Nano in position once again. Spirit is here to try and trade, but take a look at the double peak coming up from Way Too French. Minimizing their losses here. Also, not the not the distance you want to take that frenzy at, right? The season, you, you, want, you want that much, that closer spot. I would have liked him to rush. Couldn't find it, though. Anger is mad. Chased out and cut down. Melio waiting. Yeah, it's just going to be a rotate off. They know that's the last man. He's on site. They might as well just go ahead and take that over to A. Yeah. Where they'll have the post plant advantage. Or they take the port to the port. <laughs> it's still my favorite play. Oof. That's not Charms' favorite play. Raise on, raise on, raise. Five to three, way too French start to separate themselves from the challengers. My thanks. They'd already be happy with five, um, but now they've got what seven opportunities to really oh, increase Christ. their half here. As we're going to see the operator buy coming out from Spirit once again. Kind of the crux of the B site defense has just been how the other two defenders play it. You know, they haven't been able to really win out their duels over. Uh, by playing by Hexagon. They get peaked over there, or Octagon, and they just end up dying. I kind of want to see them play a little bit more aggressively there if they can, instead of just allowing the offense to push all the way up long. Showers, two. Main, three. Standard push. This is the standard push, two in showers and three in main. Sometimes you see four in main, one in showers. And then you see generally a wall or two smokes to cut this angle off while they plant. Instead, no smokes, just no out push. Stover from the top is going to fire out the ult. Melio going to boot up Napster, find everybody. And let's take three on four. Way too French have the spike planted. Charlotte trying for the retake. They've already used their major abilities to try and deal with it, right? I, uh, barring some miracle, this is going to be another way too French round now. It's just down to the one. He gets finished off pushing through a smoke and 
you know, I like the way Way Too French approached that. They gained shower controls, and big thing there was that Incredible was able to pick up the ultimate orb over at showers. He ends up, of course, getting uh, his ultimate off of that. They use that to clear out U-Hauls, and it's an easy push onto the A-side afterwards. They don't have to worry about that left-side angle. Heaven is the biggest thing. On-site is the biggest thing. And so they're just able to push in, get that for free. Charlotte Phoenix now. We'll see. Um, they've been continually doing a 2-3 split, 2 on A, like you mentioned, and 3 over on to the B site. And now they're playing aggressively over here by long. That's what I was talking about. But right. the timing on it is just not going to work out for them. <laughs> Look at this. Charlotte Phoenix are playing so aggressively. They just filter out. Wait too fringe. Figure it. They don't, they don't fall victim. And they just move. They don't have to wait for this, uh, this full flank, though. The Phoenix player coming all the way up the rear. This could be huge for Charlotte Phoenix. Spike has been planted. So Wait too French is going to be able to turn around now, finally. Phoenix is behind. Did, did you see him? Oh, no, not quite. See you later. Nice job. And so two players left for Phoenix, and they're going to be coming from the front. But way too French have dug their cleats on in. And I believe this will be their seventh round here, Jay. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Trying to figure out what they can try and do differently, right? Um, I think making that aggressive push up through B was, was definitely push. something for them. But the way Way Too French played that they, uh, you know, it was just not the proper timing for Charlotte Phoenix. I think, you know, on the rifle rounds, they should try something similar. Uh, the two players that were holding over there. But the adjustment that they're going to make, they're going to go ahead and send the Phoenix over to short A to make an aggressive Never play. But decided. the timing, again, no one's over there by short A for way too French. And so this ultimate Don't is just going to fizzle You're out dead. as uh, he should. He's already popped it. He's making his advance. He's already through the port. Now here he goes. Try to clear it out. He goes down. Well, I guess there's information gathered. Yeah, they know that he, he's been playing over at B as well. Right. Oh, well, Spirit is able to get a real kill. So way too French. Not off to the same start they have been the past couple of rounds. Back and forth till about number five and now number 10. Way too French have a four round lead. And a case size, able to find a kill, but it's traded out immediately. And so the three out of four, way too French pushing still. Now it's all even. Spike down. Oh, here comes the orbital strike. Doesn't I catch return? anyone that time, though. But it just delay. Mm hmm. They're trying to get this plant on, and it's down. Charmed with two. One alive. Gotcha. Out of nowhere, just think. Yeah, just the complete wraparound through B halls. Um, really just kind of baiting his teammates there. But that was a that was a beautiful snap, by the way, by Terms, just catching that second beautiful. player. But you know, it's still ultimately a 1v3, and 1v3s are difficult. Phoenix are gonna go ahead and of course this is the last round, force up, and that's the best that they can afford here at SMG on one. Considering the Guardian buy. That would allow him to go to heavy armor if he wanted to, I think. Yep. yep. But no, he 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 wants he wants that rate of fire. The guardian getting changed next patch. Uh, a, a shift, as we call it in the industry, not a nerf, not a buff, just a shift. Uh, I like the idea of the shift. Right now, we two friends trying to shift into game number two. Which would end their night. Charlotte Phoenix, though. Starting this one off high I know it's with exactly two from Charms, two answered, and a third from Nano. Melio has been a top performer and also finds a two piece in this one. And it's Phoenix for Phoenix versus the world here. Oh. I need no eyes to see. <laughs> oh, man. Immediately. <laughs> there's a there's an old Richard Pryor sketch where he's pretending to he's blind and he's pretending to be able to see on the train. 
<laughs> and that's immediately what I thought of. Getting the kill while blind is so impressive. Like, because <laughs> it's about knowing timing and how quickly, like realistically, when you when you get a kill through smoke or blind in that situation, sometimes it's just luck. But right there, the sniper saw the player, right? Got information, got blinded, but knew the size of a player model, how long it takes for the player to move, and can estimate how you know that position. Like that is a that is an intelligent guess, not just a Odin spam through the smoke. And that stuff always impresses me. Ooh, look at that camera angle. Yeah, they spotted out. They're gonna go ahead and clear that. He knows there's at least two. Cage triggered. Way too French here on the defensive side. We just need four more rounds to close this out, and this is going to be an early night for us. We'll see, though, if Charlotte Phoenix can bring it back like they did on Haven from a bigger deficit beforehand. KSI starts it all off, taking out Mill first. And all of a sudden, Anger showing up one more time. has been kind of quiet here. Map number two. Keep in mind, Charlotte Phoenix kind of fought their way couple of rounds in a row so maybe he's just hibernating Kasai is also a performer when the team was winning oh Charlotte Phoenix do find it two versus one in that hallway and they're able to get this one so it's at nine to four pistol round goes to Charlotte and they could just do what we saw last map, right? Last map, they kind of got shut down, then won the first two rounds on the on the half to the half, and it was off to a uh, funky town, as the kids say. Now, wait, French, I mean, are they going to stop this, or is this going to be a landslide for Phoenix? I was wondering how much they were going to invest into this. Two of them already have rifles. Two of them um, are as, on SMGs, and Spirit is saving up for that operator once again. As wow, it's a full five man push through short hate, but they don't have anyone watching their flanks. What they don't have the cipher, so this odd play. Oh, they're just walking this in, too. <laughs> this flank oh, could be huge. No oh. Spotted K size finds him, able to pick that one. Guardian abound. There's the paranoia from shots. Haven't seen much omen play. That's always curious. Oh, nice charge. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Anger gets real mad, takes down three. K-Size shows up as well. And those are your moneymakers for Phoenix. So two in the pocket after the half. And like I said, last time around, this is how they ran with it. And it's fairly important um, who went down there, right? Uh, so Sparrow trading away, going down, that's fine because he wasn't really trying to bring anything into this round. Uh, he was just going for that operator buy for this one. Um, the fact that they were able to kind of transfer ultimately in the end one of those uh, one of those rifles means that you know they're going to be working off of three rifles here. Uh, Inger uh, picking one up himself. It's going to be two guardians for Charlotte Phoenix. So they're going to have some issues, of course, in terms of rate of fire, but. The Guardian can still do heavy work. Spirit going to push through with that recon. Al drone spots one out, but he doesn't know that there's a player on the left-hand side. We'll see if they check that angle. They spot one out, but Incredible gets him. Oh, man. Incredible gets a secondary before getting taken down by Spirit, who finds the end one. Two on three here. Way too French. Have the trips. Pretty sure Phoenix just blinded himself, but it's all good. Now winds up looking cuter. And Spirit's going to miss that shot. Way too French. Looking for numero diez. And Spirit. Locked by himself here at B site. Gets the kill. Can't find the other. Three for Spirit, but it ain't enough. After 15, way too French. Have 10. Three away from the win. Yeah, now Phoenix Ooh, on the back foot. They do have enough money to buy for two. Let's see if they want to go ahead and go for the force up. Uh, heavy armors, light armors. We've got a guardian buyout for Cherms. Spirit, though, almost no money to his name. 2,500 credits. And, you know, he's been that operator player. So it's going to be a light armor buy. So half by coming out for Charlotte Phoenix here on the offensive side. They're down by five currently here. Way too French. We have to remember that they've already taken one map. They're getting closer and closer. Taking this victory. No. To run. 
four one split. The raise is completely elsewhere. Use a nano though. Continuing, that's good. K size now. Opting for the ultimate. Opt oh. getting a kill. <laughs> and that that just feels bad. <laughs> That <laughs> just feels bad. Great play by Way Too French or Lucky Draw? Great play by Way Too French, honestly. Time me there. They don't see anything over at A, so they know that if it's going to be a push, it's going to be a big push out of Charlotte Phoenix. So once they spot out one, they know that there's multiple over there. Uh, throwing down that orbital strike over to two, uh over towards B, a long B, it ends up catching multiple out. And of course, that unfortunate timing of the Phoenix ultimate to <laughs> die to go straight into the fire. Oh. That 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 was the, the most almost literal uh kind of I guess translation of, you know, um out of the frying pan and into the into the fire. Like that's exactly <laughs> what happened there for him. I mean yeah, I can't think of a more opt turn or uh, apt turn of phrase. Two players trying to rush through hookah here. Charlotte Phoenix gets a lucky one, but in cred, just as lucky. <laughs> Honestly, just left clicking through the through the smoke. Nano here, gonna get surprised on the back end. Players pushing up through long as well, but <clears throat> gonna be safe for now. Three players trying to push on, and they'll walk away from B this time. They don't have to commit to it. Again, it's about getting those splits. Uh, they've already got the rotation out from the Sova. Or, excuse me, um, out from, I think it was the Brim. Now, Phoenix, if they can play for that man advantage over at uh, over at a site. No, they have rotated, so now it's two per site. They got a really slow push this, and they still have to deal with a Cypher or a Sova. There's a lot of ways they can delay this. Now, as the abilities come out... Meal's gonna snap. Oh! Took off the scope at the last second. Pop-tarts are good. Lower the damage. A couple of pistol shots should do the job now. Melio can pretty much spam. Or pick and choose his targets. A dozen for way too French. And now we're setting on match points. Evening point here. Way too French. Had a little difficult time on Haven, but here it's been a completely yes. different case. You know, we had stalwart defenses on Haven from both sides. Charlotte Phoenix, though, weren't able to get much going and so really set them behind once they swapped sides. And now, way too French just need one more round and Charlotte Phoenix just running out of time, never really able to crack the defense here. Way too French just dropping the ball in a few cases. Honestly, a few mistakes that, you know, if it was short up, Charlotte Phoenix could have got these rounds on the board, but way too French are just playing so smart right now. Oh, man. No kills there, but certainly a deterrent. The Owl Drone will be taken down. Sorry, Dumbledore. That's not the Owl's name. I don't know. Four on four here. There. Four on four, pushing up. Now three on three. Trains are good. Anger, though, trying to be the clutch man for his team. Map one, they had to beat a team named Mamba. Trying to see if they can life steal that into Mamba mentality here. In our second map, Melio. Certainly gonna make that difficult. Knows where both of them are. One versus two. But Melio honestly has a good situation. Doesn't matter. Anger. Again, puts on the backpack. Number six here for Charlotte Phoenix. Way too French. One away from ending it. I see him scrambling to try and find a gun. Turns around. It's another guardian. <laughs> runs onto his sight. Okay, he ends up finally uh, finding, uh, I think it was um, the Phantom there at the end. But again, way too French. They, they've got six rounds to work with here just to try and close this out with the advantage that they have. Right now, Cherms, uh, light armor buy if he wants to with the, uh, with, with the rifle. Um, he should be able to pick that up. 
spread out here from Charlotte. Spike is going toward the B site, but they kind of leave one and two with A. So it's a 3-1-1 one, one split from the attackers. They looking for picks here, or what's the call? Yeah, I think you just play def uh, default at this point. As, again, um, they've got the rounds to work with. They don't want to rush anything. And way too French, just sitting at home. There's, like you said, I mean, there's no reason. No reason at all to really do anything here. Ha! Meal. First kill of the contest. 50 seconds left to go. Charlotte Phoenix could buy their time earlier. Now, they've got to pick and choose. Incred and Melio each get a kill. Gage Two players left standing for Charlotte Phoenix. Two players on French without a kill this round. Can we get the team ace is the question. Location revealed for Melio. So players know he's in this cubby. Does he care? Yes. Oh, secondary information. Pushing on through. Oh, they tried to get into the TP. Melio said no to one. Man, I'm actually credited for the kill. Neil missed the off shot, but his team's waiting, and there's the team ace for the night. Way too French will stay on the table, and we'll see him next week. Wow. So another defense coming out. Now we'll see if they make it past week number three. Charlotte Phoenix, unfortunately, strong start, you know. But this ends up being, of course, a marathon. So ran out of gas after making that first 100-yard sp um, sprint, you know, in the first best of three. You're way too French, uh, especially here on uh, Bind. Just were able to hold it down. Their offense looked strong. Really took a, um, advantage of a lot of mistakes coming out. But it was also some of the mind games that way too French were playing, like we had mentioned. Um, that